just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. We're not done praying. Apostle said last night, the moment you get here, just start praying. Has anybody come for an encounter with the Lord tonight? Come on, lift up your voices wherever you are. Open up your mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Paul said, what is it then? I will pray in the Spirit and I will pray in my understanding. I will sing in the Spirit and I will sing in my understanding. Because there is a proper understanding that both are necessary. Open up your mouth wherever you are and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift up your voices. Wherever you are in the room, online, wherever you are across the world, lift up your voices right now and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. For he that prays in an unknown tongue edifies himself. Come on, lift up your voices. Hebrews 12, 18. You have not come as of the people that came of Israel to what you can feel to the Mount Sinai with blazing fire and the darkness and gloom and storm, the blast of a trumpet and the sound of a voice. When the people heard the voice, they begged not to hear another word because they could not bear another order which says, if even an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned to death. The sight was so terrifying that Moses said, I am trembling and afraid. Instead, you have come to Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, with its thousand angels. You have come to the joyful gathering of God's firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, who is the judge of all people, and to the spirit of good people, made perfect. You have come to Jesus, who arranged the new covenant and the sprinkling blood that promises much better things than that of Abel. Come on, lift up your voices and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you have that understanding, you have come to the assembly of the people of God, the Ecclesia. Come on, begin to lift up the name of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Keeping our eyes fixed <laughs> on Jesus, the author, the finisher of the faith. Can we begin to call on the names of God? <laughs> as many as you can think of. Listen, we are in a prophetic moment tonight. He's a animal. Begin to call on his names. Begin to call on his names. Yes, you are. I'm a Shia. Lion of Judah, I go to Jerusalem. Yeshua, Ramashia, you are the Lion of Judah, I go to Jerusalem. Yeshua, Ramashia. You're the Lion of Judah. I'm gonna change. Allah paradabasha. Yeshua. Hamashia. Lion of Judah. I'm gonna 
tell you why he can sit on the throne. David spoke prophetically in the Messianic Psalm. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up here, everlasting laws, and the King of glory shall come in. Now, he went ahead to explain. He said, who is this King of glory? Not just anybody. 
is the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle lift up your heads all your gates and be lifted up here everlasting doors and the King of glory he is the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne he alone come on lift up a sound of praise to that Lamb come on lift your voices wherever you are we're going to continue calling the names of God Hallelujah. Now we're going to do this together. Are you ready? Can you just begin to dance in the spirit? Dance by the leading of the spirit. Whatever David did is small. We dance by the leading. Come on. Yeah.
God in three persons
So let's give him all the glory. Let's
there's none like you, Yahweh. There'll never be one like you, Yahweh. Come on, lift up your voices once again and give him the fruit of your lips.